You're watching Explore Tulsa. I do like movies. I did like movies as a kid. I watched what every other kid of the 50s watched. I had a particular interest in the American West because I grew up uh, listening to the stories of my own family's experiences uh, coming out of Northern England, Ireland, and Scotland, coming to this country uh, one way or another, and then moving west off the East Coast into, uh, into the American West. And uh, so I grew up with all of that, and so I had a particular interest in, uh, in the uh, American West genre in films and in books. By my grandmothers and great-grandmothers, and in some cases, my grandfathers, um, they were great storytellers, and that probably is what prompted me to write. My sister also writes. Uh, she wrote uh, or co-authored the history of uh, Roman Jasinski, Prince of the Ballet Russe, about the Tulsa Ballet Company and the man who created it with his, with his wife. His wife was probably the leading character in that story, Moslin Larkin. And uh, you know, what we've kidded around about is that she writes about beauty and art and I write about the beasts because I write about outlaws, crime, and war. But we grew up listening to these stories of coming here and, and the experiences that they had. We've written seven books about the American West, the classic American West. I've been involved uh, in also in the writing of a book about the Southern Hills murder. I uh, uh, did that book in uh, about 2013. And uh, then after that, we've uh, authored some military books. I should say that my, my uh, writing has for the most part been as a co-author. I like to work collaboratively and that has come in very handy in the writing area. I have the opportunity to work with others to produce high quality books in a relatively short period of time. And thus, all those books that I just described in general have been produced since 2007, working with uh, writing partners. My publisher, Roman Littlefield in Connecticut, wants to do a story about snipers that people are not familiar with. In recent years, particularly the last 10 years, we've become familiar with snipers through American Sniper and other, other movies. And so they've asked me to look at snipers from the very beginning and to pick out the best stories that people have never heard, things that got overlooked. It presents me with a, a bit of a conflict in the sense that I have very mixed feelings about snipers, even our own snipers. Uh, and, and I was very happy to learn that professional snipers in the military services are often people that regular army people are uncomfortable around. Even though they're killing the other guy, they, they don't care for the idea of somebody killing from hiding. From extraordinary hiding would be the way I would describe it. So I have that reservation about it, but I'm going to try to use that as, a, as an opportunity in a sense. It, that gives me the, the incentive to find out what these guys are about. I'm going to learn about them and, and, and try to deal with this reluctance I have in writing about this subject, try to use that to my advantage and come to that project with some respectful skepticism. I will not disrespect people that put themselves in great danger. It's, it's difficult to explain. I had a history and I had an experience even in grade school in uh, history and in politics. And I knew at a very early age that this was what I was going to do, that I was going to practice law. I could see from the backyard of our house over by the fairgrounds, before all the growth that would keep me from seeing that today, I could see in the, in the far distance downtown Tulsa and all those beautiful skyscrapers. I could see all that and I knew from an early age I wanted to be a lawyer and I was going to be, a, I was going to be practicing law right down there in those big buildings. My mother claimed that I told the nuns when I was 10 that I was going to be a lawyer. That's not really true, but certainly by the time that I was 12, I knew that's what I was going to do. And so in that sense, I was very lucky. I knew from an early age and I directed everything I had towards that goal. So uh, that's, that's been my course uh, over the past uh, 40 years.